name is Sammy. I am a 5-1 emotional projector and I talk about human design on my channel. I'm also a Reiki practitioner and today I just want you to take this time with me to kind of just settle into our bodies, take all of this emotions and all of these things that are so close to us and kind of just push it out a little bit further away from our bodies as we tune in. So just do that now. Imagine as your breath is leaving, like as you breathe out, that's like all your emotions, all these things that are so close to you are just kind of being pushed out in a circle around you so you can like see it more clearly. So we'll do that now. Take one more deep breath. And I'm sure maybe if you are feeling like a little lighter, that's pretty normal. I like to do this when I feel like I'm going through a lot or there's a lot on my plate so I can look at things more clearly and see that I myself am not a part of these things going on, but rather they are happening, like they're outside of my soul and who I am and that I can still have peace and love within myself while dealing with whatever's going on. So now that we've done that, I just want to start by telling a little bit about my story of how I got into Reiki because I've had multiple people ask me about, you know, doing some videos on Reiki, but I wasn't exactly sure how to bring it up or how to talk about it until now. And so I kind of had to wait for the right timing and wait for that moment to come. Um, and I think that the biggest thing that I want to talk about is just how much of a difference it's made within even human design and within myself of forgiveness. I would say if Reiki has taught me anything, it's just this act of unconditional love and forgiveness. I have the 2551 gate and I think a lot of the times because I am a split, um, I, I felt like I wanted so much to always be in that spirit, like be closer to spirit, but I still have my root and my solar plexus defined. So that split, that large split that I have, it was like this disconnect, like how can I bring this spiritual part of me, the mystical part of me, at the same time feel that and be grounded at the same time? Because I think sometimes when we're so up in the mystical part, it can be so hard when you do have to come back down, depending on your design. Um, and it's hard, it was really hard. It was causing, sorry, sorry, my dog. It was causing me to be so depressed. And like, I, like I've always said on here, like I'm walking through this journey with you. And just because I learned about human design and know human design doesn't mean that I don't have inner work to do. Um, I want to show up and always have humility and be from my heart because that's just, we all deserve grace and we all deserve love and forgiveness. And I just, I think that that's probably the biggest takeaway so far that I've had with doing Reiki and being a Reiki practitioner is like, it allows me to be able to connect to spirit and to connect with other people's guides and other people. You know, it's, it's like this intuition and it allows me to stay grounded on earth while I do it. And it's like, it's powerful. And although it is for those moments of time or during those sessions, that sticks with me and it teaches me lessons even about myself. And it makes me realize how utterly powerful each and every one of us are. Um, I honestly cannot say more like for, I mean just I want to say from the bottom of my heart but I feel like that's not even that's not even strong enough just how much I believe that all of us are so worthy of forgiving ourselves and it's just a matter of you looking inside of yourself instead of looking outside of yourself for the reason things are happening to you and I know, of course, I know that there are things outside of your control. We all know that there are terrible things that happen every day at, on, on this earth, every day. And honestly, I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to even think about. 
but what can I do? Like, what can I practically do to better this world? I can love myself. And I know that that sounds really selfish, but by loving myself and by forgiving all of me, forgiving myself for even my future mistakes, because I will never stop making errors. I'm never going to stop, you know, making mistakes. And it's part of being a person. It's part of growing. It's part of life. But if you can forgive them and you can let go of this feeling of guilt and shame, then you can almost bright up the world with that energy because when you let go of that you have more love in your heart and it explodes it just expands and it just even when I have hard days now like I I feel like I get over them so quickly like it's not something that I hold on to or if something upsets me I just don't hold on to it nor do I blame someone else or the situation it's the situation itself i just don't hold on to you know i think we get really really caught up in just very small minute details i've talked about this even with human design like don't miss the big picture the big picture is that you are valuable you are worthy you are enough just as you are all you have to do is be able to look inside yourself and find that peace there. And it's not easy. Like, I mean, I am working on it every day still. Like, it's not like I'm sitting here on my high horse. Like, I really can't express that enough. Like, I have moments where I feel that way. But then I have moments where I am like, oh my God, okay. Like, I feel like I'm so in my ego right now. But the difference is, is that when I make a mistake or when I feel like I'm rude to someone or when I feel like I am not in integrity, I forgive myself, I own up to it, and then I forgive any other person in that situation. Just as if someone is not in integrity to me, I forgive them. Because if we are all humans and we are all have these souls and these beautiful, wonderful light beings that we are, that every spiritual person talks about, then we must also believe that every single person is worthy of that same love, of that same forgiveness. And who am I to not forgive another if I can forgive myself? If I think I am worthy of that, then I also think they are. But you also can't ignore yourself. That's key. Like You can't ignore your forgiveness. If we all just spend a little bit more time on loving ourselves you would be amazed at how much we'd be willing to like to be loving towards others because we would no longer need so much to, to 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 put blame on other people because we would deal with it and forgive and let go within ourselves so right now, I just want you to ask yourself if there's anything, any fight you've had, anything small, it can be the simplest thing, or it can be a big thing, but if you want to start small, like, what is something that you've been holding on to, a grudge, or just a frustration, or something that has just, that makes your heart just unhappy even thinking about, or you feel physical just frustration or tightening of your body up about? And I just wanted to ask you to just tune in again, and let just let it go. Forgive. Forgive yourself for whatever happened. Whether, whether, don't, don't even put blame on people. Don't say who was right or who was wrong or, or if you were right or if you were in the wrong. Just, just, just forgive the situation and then let it go. And then just let it go. That is how we have peace. That is how we get to peace, in my opinion. That's what I've learned so far. Of course, you know, like, I'm not saying like, that's how we get peace, guys. Like, that's the answer. Like, I, I'm not, that That sounded like, <laughs> I, I don't know. But in my opinion, that's what has made me feel so at peace. And it's aligned me back, ex like, even stronger into just this force of love that I am. Like, I love to do Reiki. I love it. I love Reiki so much. It makes me so happy. And I love being able to use human design 
to be able to do distant readings or to be able to like tune in to what's going on with someone and use that as my inner vision as to what could be happening and whether it's an emotional thing or whether it is and what that physical pain is or maybe what emotions are attached to it. You know, I know in a lot of our video interviews I've done recently, I've talked about how a lot of people feel this pain in their heart when they feel like they're not something's wrong. I definitely feel that way when I'm not in alignment, when there's some part of me that knows that what I'm doing or some part of I'm holding on to something that I don't need. And until I do, until I release it, I have that pain. So a lot of physical sensations can happen for people because they need to let things go. Now, of course, I'm not saying that's always the case, but I'm just saying to think about, think about how you can just learn to continue to forgive as much as it can be so hard on our egos. And I get it. Like, I mean, it's hard. It's so hard. I mean, I, I've really been tested. Like my ego is just continually being tested, but I love it. I love the challenge and I love just being able to be feel, feel so inspired by my own growth and be able to just not even have to really say much or tell people what to do because that's not my place. All I have to do is show up in love. All I have to do is show up and forgive someone. All I have to do is let something go, forgive something. Even it happened like 10 years ago, I just forgive it in my mind. If it pops up in my head again, I just forgive it. I forgive and I let go. This is why in my meditations, I always ground myself with my feet phantom, well, phantom, <laughs> it's not a word, planted firmly on the ground and I say, everything that I need to let go of leaves my body now. And I feel this like pulling sensation at the bottom of my feet and it just goes into earth and gets recycled and renewed. And I am let go of things that I don't need to hold on to. Because when our bodies and our minds are so full of just stuff we don't need in our minds, then it's it's so hard to make choices. It's so hard to feel like ourselves and so many of us, I'm sure, can relate, and I, I can as well, to, to this like, fact that, like, you can just go out and be in a busy area and just feel like you're, like, consumed with all these, like, you, it's, like, almost like you feel kind of very jittery afterwards. And, and that's why I always just kind of envelop myself in this bubble of love, and I will say, like, you know, I am, I am my own energy, and, like, light and love live within me and love lives within me and nothing, nothing can get in the way or like nothing can penetrate that pure love, that pure love that I surround myself with. Nothing can penetrate that. That's a freaking powerful feeling. It makes me not ever really like, well, I'm not saying I will ever because of course I'm a human. I'm going to make mistakes. Of course, right. It's a learning process, but I've learned to not react. Because most of the time, when people say stuff, they're, they're not really reacting at you. They're just reacting out something outside of themselves for a feeling that they're having internally. Okay? I do it. I've done it. So I, like, and I will probably continue to do it. It's a life. It's a lifelong thing to learn that. as a hard pill to swallow. That most of what's going on, most of what you're projecting out towards others in this mean or not self way is because you're not dealing with something inside because you don't feel like you are worthy. And as a projector, I spent a lot of my life always wanting to help people, but I wasn't being I wasn't being helpful because I was not dealing with my own demons. I had not forgiven myself, and who am I to help someone else if I can't even take my own advice? And so, yeah, Reiki has really honed in, like, everything I've learned from the beginning of my spiritual journey of just, oh, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a miraculous miracle every time I get to give Reiki to someone. It's, it's, a, it's a really, truly, if it truly feels like a miracle. And, and the beauty, like, the beautiful part about it is that it's not me. I'm just getting that energy channeled through me. So I take no pride, like I, my ego does not get lifted from it because I get healed while they're getting healed. And then I think source, creator, God, whatever you want to call it, light, love, universe, 
I thank that because that is what was happening, was going through me. And I'm able to tell whoever I'm doing Reiki to that they did the work, that they did the work, not me. And that, that to me is just the greatest thing in the world. It's, it's, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever, ever, ever been a part of in my whole life. And it's amazing to be able to, to, to do human design and Reiki. And, um, yeah, and that's just kind of how I wanted to introduce Reiki to you all. And I'll start talking more about it and, and, um, if you guys have any suggestions on, on any kind of content that you would want from me from about Reiki or whatever, or, um, you let me know, but, um, yeah, I just, I kind of wanted to just do this video to just remind everyone that they are so worthy of love and forgiveness. And I just have so much love in my heart. Like I'm just so full of love right now. And I just, I'm really grateful for every single person who's ever watched any of my videos. I really am. I really am so grateful for you. And I really appreciate it. I just appreciate the kind words and I appreciate the, the genuine just strength that I feel like happens when you can feel like you relate to someone and you feel that and it kind of heals something inside of you. Because I've been healed from he like hearing your guys' comments. I, I truly have. It, it truly has healed me. Um... I think as we all heal ourselves, we can heal each other too, which is pretty beautiful. So I know life gets stressful. I know life gets hard. I mean, I feel I've had a really kind of like really stressful past couple of weeks and it's really had tested me. And I realized though, at the end of the day that taking care of myself is the how I can show up best for the world. So never forget how valuable you are. Never, ever, ever forget that you need self care just as much as anyone else that you have to take care of or anything else that you do, even if it's five minutes a day, even if it's just going outside and taking a breath for a moment, breathing in the fresh air, even if it's just sitting in the shower, sometimes I like to just like feel like everything from the day is just washed away from me. That can be really, really helpful or just lighting a candle and reading a book for a few minutes. But give yourself time because you deserve it. You deserve it. You are deserving of it because you are light and you are love. You are endless love. We have all just forgotten that. I've continued to forget. I mean, I'm not there yet. I've just opened. The difference is that my life has just been opened to it. Always remember that well, no matter where you are at on your journey, whether it's human design, whether you've ever done Reiki, whether you've done anything spiritually, you are beautiful and perfectly where you need to be. Okay? And it is never, ever, there's never an end goal here. We are all just, we're all just doing our best. And I just, I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for listening and taking the time to let me share a little bit about what's going on with me. I, I really appreciate that. It really, it really means a lot to me. And I just, I'm just blessing all of you. So bye.